Shut up. I am trying to film. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last vlog, then you know I went to the IMAX in New York this weekend. So I thought I would do a little haul on everything that I got. I also filmed a video on this makeup look, so I will link that in the description box. I think it's going up next week. But yeah, if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, then you can check out that video. Let's just get started with all the makeup. Okay, first thing that I got was some Morphe setting spray. I actually bought three of these. You can never have too many of these. Also from Morphe, I bought a few brushes. Some of these things are for my makeup kit because I do freelance, so not all of this stuff is mine, but I mean a lot of it's mine, but I also bought a decent amount for my makeup kit because everything was so discounted. So nice. First brush that I bought for me is this Morphe E3. It's just like this big tapered fluffy brush. Oh, I just used it, which powder came out. But I kind of like it for like under my eyes, like right there to like set my under eyes. Love it, super soft, awesome. And I don't know why I did this to myself, but I bought pretty much two of the same exact brushes. Why, I don't know. But one is an M448 and the other one is an E48. They're from different lines. They're ultimately like the same brush. It's like this brush, but smaller. And I bought these for like little, like, little powder areas. Love these. Stupid of me to buy two of the same ones. I also, whoa, just dropped that. I also bought one of these for my makeup kit. It's just like a really good small little brush love that and then i bought this little um lip brush it's an e19 this is also for my makeup kit because i didn't have one and i also i bought this little brow brush can you see it it's like super tiny super thin it's an m160 dash one slash eight i don't know that's a weird ass name but I bought two of these, one for me, one for my kit, because I wanted to try out a new brow brush for me, and so far I really like it. I bought this little guy. This is an M421. I love this brush for like packing on glitters, shimmers, anything like that, like all over the lid, so I bought one for my kit. I bought this little tapered brush it's a m321 figured this would be good for like a little nose contour you can also like use it for nice little under eye brush whatever and then i bought this blush brush cute i bought two of these one for me one for my kit this is a m403 I kind of have one similar from MAC, so I don't know why I bought myself one, but I did because I don't know, but I did. Those are all of the brushes that I bought. They didn't have a lot that I wanted that I had in my personal collection that I wanted for my kit, so I'm just going to have to order them or go to Ulta or something. I don't know. So next from Morphe, I bought some glosses. So the first one I bought is this pretty nude. It's called Free Bird. So we'll just swatch that for you. This is just like a nude you can wear on your own or like, what is this like little piece of hair doing right here? It's like really pissing me off. Can it just be like a little straight? <sighs> Whatever, okay. So I feel like this is like a good nude to either wear on your own or just if you like wanna wear a matte nude and then put this on top, it would look fantastic. So the next one I bought is this pinky one and this is called Frolic. Oh, love that name, love it so much. I don't know if it came up on camera, but it has like some gold. These people in my hallway need to honestly shut up. Like it's so annoying. And it's like 3.30, they need to leave. Like, are you done working yet? Whatever. So as I was saying, I don't know if you can see it on camera but it has like these gold it has like gold glitter i don't know it is so pretty like i love it and i feel like it's so good for the spring now they're 
vacuuming i can't so the next one i got is this one which i feel like is also really good for spring i am wearing it right now on my lips i do have like a nude liquid lipstick underneath but i have this on top so it's kind of like more of like a peachy shimmery shade it is so 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 pretty which is why i have it on right now oh my god does vacuuming mean they're done? I really freaking hope so. So next, I got this Morphe lip liner in the shade Love Bite. It's just like a darker nude. I think if you wanted to line your lips with that, even like... So I feel like if you wanted to line your lips with this or even just fill in your lips and then put that first gloss over it, I feel like that would look so, so pretty. So it's just We're taking a slight break while they finish vacuuming out there. You know, maybe I'm gonna eat a little snack room. They're still out there, but it's quieter now and i just ate a snack so oh also for morphe i <laughs> forgot to mention this i bought this blush palette it's the 8w palette and it's just all these like really warm shades i thought it'd be so pretty in the summer when i'm tan oh my god i am so excited to be tan and to wear this can't wait from Hourglass, I got the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. It's just such a nice powder. I used it today and like I absolutely love it. But another one for my mom because she wanted a translucent powder. They gave me this primer for free. It's the Ambient Hourglass Primer in Luminous Light. And honestly, I'm not a fan of it i used it once and i didn't love it um i think i need to like give it another try so i bought some lashes from ardell it was like six for 20 so i just got a few pairs of just like oops so i just got a few pairs of the wispies i have them on now i feel like they're good like natural lashes i got the double up demi wispies I never tried these, but I hear good things about them, so I bought a pair and wanted to try them. I guess I must really love Wispies. I bought these Studio FX Wispies, which look very similar to the other Wispies, but I bought them anyway. And then I bought these new Studio FX Lashes 232s. So apparently it's like Wispies and their natural lashes combined. But I feel like they look pretty. They might look pretty on. And then you also got like a 40% discount. There's like an online code. So I might order some lashes for my makeup kit because why not? So I got these glitters. They are so pretty. They're from MBA Cosmetics. So this one is in the shade dakota rose but oh my god these are absolutely stunning and like impossible to get off so i only bought two because i don't know why because this was the last thing i bought and i already spent so much money so the second one i got is in the shade bubbly this one is my favorite i'm obsessed with this but this makeup brand has like every glitter shimmer color imaginable like they literally have everything from mac i bought fix plus so i bought this coconut one for me it just smells like summer just summer in a bottle summer in a bottle you know and then i just bought the regular one for my makeup kit in case people are sensitive to scents it's better just to get things unscented when you're doing people that you don't know. I got this highlighter and whoo, 
she's pretty so it's this highlighter here it's like this gold in the shade oh darling it like doesn't show up that well on camera but it's so pretty and it's gonna look so pretty when you have a nice tan so next from mac i bought a few lipsticks some for my kit some for me i pretty much just bought like a bunch of nudes like pinky nudes nothing too crazy so this one is mocha it's just like a really pretty it's dropping zipper it's just super pretty i kind of wish i bought one for myself um and these are all satins um i think they're more comfortable on your lips so this one is in the shade spirit so this next one is velvet teddy and it's just such a pretty pretty like pinky nude an everyday lipstick just throw it on and you're good to go can this shot focus on me what hello hello there we go okay this next one is yash is that how you say it why i don't know yeah i don't know it's this pretty one did i get this one for myself i can't remember or did i get spirit i have no idea i don't know which ones i bought for myself but whatever this last one i got is cream cup which is like this very light pinky very pink color and then the last thing i got from mac i just got one gloss because i got so many from morphe i did get some for my kit some for me but this is the dazzle glass and this is in the shade Prancing, dancing. I feel like this is just like a really pretty shimmery gloss. So that is everything I got from MAC. And then Too Faced was there. And Born the Born This Way foundation is like my all-time favorite foundation. But they didn't have them there because they just had a really small setup. So they were giving out a discount code for 40% off for their foundations and concealers so i just ordered i think i ordered every third or every fourth foundation obviously those are all for my kit so i did get a decent amount of them but i mean they're 40 percent off and i needed them for my makeup kit i did not get any for myself because i think i have like three or four of them already like my pale shades and like my tan shades like i'm i'm set on them but other than that, MAC did give me a free book because you had to spend like $50 to get it. And I clearly spent more than that. But I'll go get it. It's pretty cool. So this is the book. And this guy is so talented. Just like unbelievable. And he was there doing like a demo. He did some crazy look. But that is everything I got at the iMats this year. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Ooh, super pretty. Yes, love. She's a thick swatch. Give me a thumbs up. This is pretty. I kind of wish I got this one for myself.